What's going on guys, we are back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube logo or a clan logo in paint.net and I've actually downloaded some plugins um, since I've done some previous videos so if you guys do not know how to download plugins there's loads and loads of tutorials out there on the internet. The support recently guys has been absolutely amazing on these type of videos as you guys can probably see right now and um, with the comments popping up on screen i've had a lot of support a lot of views and um, so i just thought why not crack into another logo making um on paint.net and see if you guys enjoy it maybe you guys can benefit from this as well and make some cool logos if you guys do please make sure to send me them on twitter my twitter should pop up on screen right about now guys you can send me them there and i might also preview them in my next graphics video Okay guys, so to start off, you're going to want to hit File, New, and make one that is 2,000 pixels there by 2,000 pixels for the height as well. Once you've made it, it should come up looking just like this. Now what we're going to want to do is just basically pick out what font we want. So if you just click this button here, guys, this says Add New Layer when you hover over it, and that just adds another layer here. So this is our background, which is white, and this is our Layer 2, which is transparent. Now Layer 2 is where we're going to want to put our text. Um, so let's just switch that up there by clicking that button. Make sure it's on primary there, guys, and then we've got black. Okay, guys, so what we're going to want to do is click on this T button here, which means text. Just click anywhere as long as it is on the white and find the text you are going to want to use. So for this, I'm using the Big Mac text. You guys can get any text you want over on thefont.com. Um, the link I will leave in a comment down below, so make sure to go like that comment and also go and check the website out and you can download as many fonts as you guys want on that website. So I'm just going to boost the big Maca font all the way up to 288 and now we're just going to want to figure out what we want to use. So I'm going more for B right now guys, so let's just type in B and let's see what our capital B looks like. So they're pretty much actually both the same, so let's just click B just like that guys and then we're going to want to make this a lot bigger so just type in maybe 700 now let's try you know what guys let's try 900 just like that going to want to at least try and place that in the middle just like that guys now this is where we're going to want to just switch up the colors a little bit so just get your fill tool guys Maybe get yourself um, a light grey and just place that over there, just like that. And then what we're going to want to do is click this button here, which duplicates the layer. Now this has given us two of them. So this original layer to the bottom one, make sure you click that, guys. Get yourself a darker grey and then place that there. And that makes that layer darker, as you guys can see. So let's just click off that. And then let's click on layers, rotate and zoom. And this rotates or zooms the layer. So if you just click this reset button here, that is what it normally looks like, and you're going to want to grab this zoom option and bring it down, guys. And this is just going to make it look 3D. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to do it like that, guys, and make it go behind the picture just like that. Maybe zoom out. Um, maybe keep it just as normal like that, guys, and then click OK. Now what you're going to want to do is click this line and curve tool. And I think we're just going to use black just for the purposes of this. So let's just get ourselves some black. Make sure it's on about two pixels for the width. And what you're going to want to do with that, guys, is we're going to, going to want to create a new layer, which will be layer four. And just line up corner to corner, just like that. And then also here. And then just do it everywhere you guys can see. So this corner here. Let's just delete that, sorry guys. This corner goes all the way to this corner. This corner goes to here. This corner goes to here. It's like that, guys. And you're going to want to do that for each and every corner. Okay, guys, so once all them corners are done, it should look a little something like this. Now what we're going to want to do is just zoom in here and make sure that all this is boxed off, so we're going to bring a line down here and a line down here. And don't worry about going past the grey, that is fine. I mean the light grey, sorry, because everything is actually grey. Now just do these lines here. Don't worry about making them too long, guys, as I've said. Just like that, and then also here. 
right there. Now, once all that is done, guys, um, you know, I haven't done the rest of them, but you're going to want to think about where colours actually need to go. Sorry, let's just zoom out there. So, as you guys will know, if we were having the light um, coming from maybe this angle here, um, coming from the left, sorry, um, this will be kind of a lighter colour than the top here. So, what we're going to want to do is just select the fill, maybe go on more and make this a bit of a dark grey. Just place that there. And then add the dark grey again here, but we can make that lighter. Just like that. And then just click off it. So we're going to want to do the same here for these bits. So let's just fill them in and I'll be back when that is done. Okay guys, so we're back and we've got all these lines now filled in. So let's just get our fill tool. Um, actually guys, we're going to go straight for this colour picker. And we're going to take this colour off the top here. So you just click there. Then get the fill tool and place that here. Also place it for the bottom. Um, what else? And then also here and here and also here. And then we take the colour picker again. And then we take this side colour. And then we get the fill tool and place that one here. Um, and also... We can place one here. But we're going to actually make that one just a little tiny bit darker, guys. Actually, no, we'll keep that about that. Then we place one here and we make that a little bit lighter. Just like that. And then place here. And make this just a little bit lighter too, guys. Okay guys, so now that is done, click on your layer 2 here and just delete the layer. And um, We don't actually need this background layer, but we might as well just keep it for now. So what we're going to want to do, guys, um, is figure out what we want this to look like. So if we click layers and import from file, we should be able to find a texture that we can use. Okay guys, so I'm going to use this grunge texture. Now you guys can download any textures you guys want off the internet. Just try and make sure you find ones that are not copyrighted. Okay guys, so once you have made it to the size, um, or at least bigger than your logo, just click on layer 2, click on the magic wand and just press in any part, actually, so, no sorry guys, let me just click off that, click the magic wand, hold shift and press on the screen and that is going to fill all of the background that you don't want and this is where you can click back on blue grunge texture and then just click the delete button and that makes that look something like this guys. Now what we're going to want to do is just click on layers, sorry, adjustments, and then go over to black and white, then double click that, and then we can just test it, so you can use it as an overlay, guys, but I'm just going to make it transparent, put it there just like that. Okay, guys, so now that that is done, we can actually just move that down onto this layer, so we click merge layer down, and that basically makes this just one layer. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is take this called an ellipse select, zoom out, hold it about here, and just make a curve going across there. Now once I've done that, guys, I can go into adjustments, brightness and contrast. Let me just put them back to normal. So they would start both on zero, and I can turn the brightness up a little bit, guys. So it looks like the top half of it is kind, is like sort of, you know, shiny. Okay, guys, so once that is done, we can click on effects. Then we can click onto object and object outline. Okay, guys, so once that is like that, we are just going to want to make sure the outlining is white. You can change the width and the softness to as much as you guys want. So I'm just going to stick with a white outline just like this, guys. Now what I'm going to want to do is make sure I have a grey. And then go over to the background and make sure the background is also grey. You can make it as dark or as light as you guys would like it. I think I'm going to take it to about... Here, guys and then what we do is we get layers import from file and then grab the grunge bring that over all the way down here put it as the background make sure it is also black and white guys and then make the opacity down a little bit more just like that Another thing I like to do, guys, is if we just click on layer 2, and then we can duplicate the layer just like this. So now that that is done, we're going to want to get our layer 2, and just merge layer down, just like that, onto this one, so that just then becomes the layer 4. Now, layer 2, guys, 
um, if you just click on that we're going to want to go to adjustments make sure it is definitely black and white which it already is okay guys scrap that if you just delete layer 2 just like that there we go because we don't actually need that anymore create a new layer by clicking that button click on your text and make sure you are still on this on about size font 900 just type in the letter B let's just make it black for the purposes of this guys and then let's just click here highlight it and make it a lot bigger so for start guys we're just gonna want to make this actually quite a bit smaller than I am um, thought so let's just make that a bit smaller then outline the object again so photo no sorry guys object outline object just make the width quite high okay guys so once the outline is quite big just like that and we have this shape and then just get our magic wand tool and delete all of the black and now as you guys can see we just have this and it is white so let's just zoom out make sure you have clicked and um, the move select pixels make sure you are still on layer 4 and just rotate it a little bit any way you want then what you guys can do is make it bigger Now that guys is actually the same, you know, letter like the B. And then we're just going to want to move it here. Move this grunge layer down. And then we've still got this layer here that we can double tap and change to do what we want. So what we're going to want to do guys is just make it a bit more transparent. As you guys can see here. Just like that. Now that it's done, we can just click off here and click on layer 4 and do a bit more editing. So we're going to see what it looks like if we try and make it glow, guys. So guys, if we turn the radius up, um, it does look a bit like that. But what I think will be a little bit better if we just zoom in here to see it. Go on to effects, object and drop shadow. Now this actually creates a shadow all the way around the picture. And then you can change the shadow opacity. It's like that guys or the blur radius just make that a bit bigger just like that guys now that that's done we're just going to want to merge this down onto here just like that then click effect and then think what we're going to want to do guys and uh, maybe is give the out um, give the background a bit more texture to it okay guys so as you can see I have added a pyramid pattern um, now once you actually have this, have like a pattern like this, and um, you can get any pattern you guys want, you're just going to want to do the exact same thing, make sure it's underneath your actual logo, make sure to turn it black and white, and then just turn the opacity down. Now that just gives it a little bit more texture. Okay guys, so there's just a few more things I actually want to do, and that's just test out some of these paint splats here guys. So I think I'm actually going to use, um, let's see, this one. Actually, no, that's going to be way too small, so let's just try another one. Okay, we can use this one because it's actually just a transparent background. If we just take one of these and make it a bit bigger, just like that, we should be able to place that there. Or we can actually place it behind it, guys. Just like that. Place it behind the logo. And then just turn the opacity down. Just like that. Click OK. And I think that actually looks quite cool. So let's just merge all these layers down. Actually, no, sorry guys. Click back. Keep it like that so you can actually see it. Get on effects. And I think for this we're going to click photo edit it here and this just makes the corners darker so let's just turn the radius down a little bit and the density down and then click ok okay guys now that is pretty much it on how to make this logo and um, now i just wanted to talk very quickly about 
um, my logos. Now, people keep commenting down below saying to make them a logo. Now, if you guys are actually watching these videos, so if you have got to this point, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment to let me know you've got um, this far into the video. But loads of people just, you know, instantly see that I'm making logos. They click the video and say, great video, can you make me one? But if you guys actually watch the video, instead of pretending like you have, you would hear me say that I do not make logos for people for free. So please don't ask me. Um... If you guys do want me to make you guys logos, uh, I do take money through, through PayPal. But you guys can just contact me all about prices and what you guys are actually looking for. Either through Twitter, which obviously came up on the screen just before, or through my email address. Which is either dnaturbos at gmail.com or you can contact me through my art account where I make a lot of logos as well. So please actually go check out that channel. It is called Joshua Hackett Art and the links are all in the description. And that is also my email address to joshuahackettart at gmail.com. Uh, so yeah guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this, I'm just going to show you one quick last thing what we can do, so just click here, and obviously we can add a new layer, just type underneath it, make sure the font's uh, alright size, and then we can get any sort of, you know, font we want guys, and just type in clan logo. Now this doesn't really matter what this bit looks like, let's just boost it up to 90, mm, 192. Stop underlining it. Bring it to the middle. Make sure it is white. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much it for um, this video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Hopefully, the support on this video is just as good as all the other ones. So, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, make sure to go check out all my other gaming videos and vlog videos on this channel. Bye, guys.